Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to show you how we can use one of our amazing model horse uh, binder pages to create a really neat and um, a neat way to save your model horse's show results. Now if you're anything like me, you probably just have boxes and boxes of certificates. I definitely do. And um, a few years ago, I started a project to try and organize all of those certificates and actually create individual records for all of my horses which actually had their certificates with them. Now I have all their show results from like the last 15 years, I have all those saved. So I. I do have a good foundation, but what I didn't have was all of their like certificates and ribbons all together. So I'm going to show you how you can use one of our free printables to just do that really, really simply. So first of all, you're going to need uh, one of our free printable binder pages. Um, you can find these on our blog. Look for the freebie Friday post and I will put a link to that in the comments below. You're going to need a photo of your model. I just printed one off the computer, but you might have some actual printed ones um, if you want to use one of those. You're going to need any certificates or winnings that he's won. Now, all of mine are in, as I said, boxes and boxes and boxes in the shed. So I'm going to use an example one. This horse has never won a first, but we can pretend. You're going to also need a plastic wallet. I always call these slippery fish. A little bit of a story as to why we do that, but anyway. Um, but any sort of clear plastic wallet um, is absolutely fine. And you're going to need a folder. Now I'm going to use um, an old folder. As you can see, at some point this stored a dissertation. Um, but any A4 ring binder is absolutely fine. Okay, do reuse them. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously we need to print off our page. And once we've done that, we're going to very simply stick our, um, our little photo on to our page. Now, if you've got lots and lots of horses like me, it's really helpful to have a photograph just so you know which model is which and you can confirm you've got the right horse if things go wrong. So we're just going to use uh, a little bit of prick stick there. And we're going to stick that into this nice big square here. And as you can see, you've got lots and lots of space on these pages to have a really nice big photo. The next thing we need to obviously have is our model's name. Now, you might want to do this really, really fancy, do like some really cute calligraphy or something. Um, I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I'm going to do it in dark blue, though. And I'm going to put his show name and his stable name. So his show name is CRS because that's my prefix and then total relaxation and I'm going to have to spell that which is my spelling is not my forte and his stable name is Morgan so I'm just going to pop Morgan up the top here in a different colour because I haven't really got much space and I've already spelt the word Morgan wrong you can see there's something very fundamentally wrong with my brain sometimes, but that's okay. So we've got his stable name here and we've got his um, show name as well. Now I'm also gonna put his unique ID code on. If you don't know about giving your models unique ID codes, check out our video on how to create a model horse records spreadsheet. Really, really useful. And that will help you with um, why we use unique ID codes. So this model's unique ID code is 602. So I'm just going to use purple again because purple is quite a pretty colour. So we're going to put 602 in there. Brilliant. So the basics are there. The next thing we need to do is we need to write up our model's show results. Now, hopefully you've already got a really good record of your horse's show results. If not, this might take a little longer. Um, but this horse has three placings. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, first of all, I'm going to create some guidelines for myself. Now, our printable doesn't have guidelines on it. Um, you might want to like add these in or maybe you just have like quite neat handwriting so you don't have to worry too much about this. But if, like me, you're a bit of a, like, your handwriting's really bad, you might want to just add in a few guidelines. It's up to you. I don't do it on most of them, but I thought I'd be neat today. Now, we're going to use coloured pens, but again, you don't have to use coloured pens. Um, and we're going to write up his show results. And we're just going to put the show name and the placing. And I use uh, grey for fifth place. So we'll start off with... Um, 2013 so we'll put 
Um, actually, we won't put a 2013 heading. I don't think we really need that, do we? we can put it in the thing. So we'll put Blue Valley and Elms Realm Live 2013. And then we can put Fifth Place. Now, I keep more details than that in the actual electronic records, but this is just, um, these are not like full records. This is just a nice thing to have as a little cover page. So we don't worry too much about that. Then I've got two sixth places and I always use pink for sixth place. So we're going to use pink. So we've got Kitty Kitty Live 2015. So we'll put Kitty Kitty Live 2015. And then we'll put sixth place. And then finally, we've got Powie 2017. So we'll put Powie, it's a nice short one, 2017. And then we'll put sixth place again. Okay, now this might take you some time to do all of their results. You might have to go through all your certificates. You obviously don't have to do this. You can just use it as a cover page. You might not want to put all the results there. But I think it's really nice to have that like little list at the front. Now, usually, once they get done and they get filed, more results don't get written on here because I've already got a record of their results on my computer. But actually, if you think, like, if your computer's hard drive failed, like happened to me in 2016, if you've got a paper copy as well, you've got a backup, which is really, really useful and it would have made my life a lot easier if I could have just used these and typed up instead I literally had to go through a folder of about 15 shows worth of certificates and type them up it was horrific it took ages okay so once you've done that you can then obviously just pop it in your plastic wallet and the reason we're using a plastic wallet and not just putting hole punches in is because we're going to keep all of our certificates with our model so we'll pop it in so there we go, we've got our horse, we've got a nice photo, we've got his name, we've got his unique ID code, and we've got some show results. Any certificates or ribbons can just be popped in behind. I always recommend putting them behind so you can see. There we go. And if we ever sell this horse or anything like that, I can just hand them this and say, here you go, here are all his show results, um, and you've got everything there. So it's also really, really useful in terms of selling your models. Now, to keep yourself nice and organised, what I recommend is that you organise your folders by numbers, okay? So I have folders, well, my folders go up to about 1,200 because I'm a bit out of date with this project and I've got around 2,000 models that are now catalogued, so uh, I need a few more folders. Um, this is why I say reuse them. Um, so this one, I do 50 per folder. So I've got 601 to 650. We know this horse is number 602. So we would file him in here. There's no one in this one yet. And we would obviously then put them all in order. So model number 601 would go in front and model number 603 would go behind. And then you can just quickly pop those up on your shelf. And you can see up here, I've got some of them already on my shelf. And all of your show results are really neatly stored. So I hope you liked that video as a quick and easy way to get organised and to show off your show results. Remember, you can get a free printable of this Model Horse Records uh, sheet off our blog and there will be a link in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you all soon. It's bye bye from me and it's bye bye from Caesar.